It's Veterans Day and America is honoring the wartime service of men and women in the military. Please make it known to their hearts that this country and our nation honor, appreciate, and thank them for their sacrifice and service. Give them assurance that they are not forgotten and hope that they will feel our enduring gratitude. In Grand Prairie, the city opted for a live streamed virtual setting because of COVID-19 concerns. COVID has changed things. We did this Memorial Day. We'll do it today. We'll see what Memorial Day is like when Memorial Day comes. I feel pretty certain we'll be able to do it outdoors for next year's Veterans Day, though, with the new vaccine coming. But folks, y'all be careful out there. We, this COVID stuff is still, the numbers are peaking in Tarrant County and Dallas County, so let's just be very careful during the, during the Thanksgiving holidays. The service members we honor today come from all walks of life, but they share several fundamental qualities that they possess. Courage, pride, dedication, selflessness, a dedication to duty, and integrity. All those qualities needed to serve a cause larger than oneself. 56 Grand Prairie service members are on the roll call of heroes who have died defending our country. Okay, are you motivated? Yes, I'm motivated. Are you dedicated? Yes, I'm dedicated. Grand Prairie police are helping a local church teach young men how to make better choices. On Saturday, they joined a men-to-men -men conference at Faith Fellowship Baptist Church, a congregation that recently lost two young members to street violence. And I want you guys um, to understand uh, that we're here to help and we're here to encourage and to make sure that you are successful. The officers shared experiences they had as youngsters that kept them on the path to success. Don't pick your friends by, are we going to smoke tonight? Hey, you got that dream. Hey, we trying to chase multiple different women. Don't pick your friends by your addictions because your addictions will lead you to failure. But when you pick your friends by your aspirations, you'll make it. I've been in a court in a courtroom one time where I've seen an officer say, I cannot prove this. Many of the young men in the pews wanted to know how to act if they get stopped by police. Yeah, don't try to fight it in the streets. If somebody gives you a ticket or, uh, or places you under arrest, don't try to fight it in the streets. Fight it in the courthouse. Yeah. Own up to your mistakes. You know, the, he asked you for a drop light. Oh, officer, I don't, I don't have a drop light. Just tell him. We're going to figure it out. Just tell him. That being up front, oh, we love it. Yes. All right? Yep. We love it. Because that shows that you have a, a working, you have a good attitude. And a former pro football player offered the youngsters this game plan for success. So you surround yourself with people that are going to reward you, like coming to church, putting scriptures in you, praying, having a purpose, having a game plan. Just like the officer said, it's never a time waste if you do the right thing, be honest. The conference is part of the city's ongoing community inclusion initiative to create a better Grand Prairie. Grand Prairie has given overwhelming approval to a crime-fighting sales tax that was on the November 3rd ballot. According to unofficial returns, a wide majority of voters approved the 20-year extension for the Crime Control and Prevention District, as well as a 20-year extension of the CCPD quarter cent sales tax. I knew our city would support our police department. We've got a great police department, but it does take money to run a great police department, and this will give us the uh, money necessary to keep adding additional staff and help keep it off the general fund, and I couldn't be more proud of our city and our police department. It, it, it's a win-win for everybody. The CCPD sales tax was originally authorized by voters in 2007 to pay for the public safety building. In 2012, voters extended the quarter cent sales tax for 10 years. In 2013, voters agreed to also use the sales tax to hire and equip police officers. Right now, most of the revenue pays for community policing related positions and initiatives including mental health, community engagement, public education, youth services, and other efforts to prevent crime by building inclusive relationships. Tuesday's vote means all revenue from the quarter cent sales tax can be used to hire, equip, and train police officers 
after the public safety building is paid off in 2022. It's incredibly reassuring that our public would overwhelmingly support the CCPD tax during a time where there's so much uh, division in our country as it relates to police officers. Uh, the citizens here, are well over 70 percent, have uh, essentially done a vote of confidence in the Grand Prairie Police Department. Our officers hear them loud and clear, and it's, uh, it's, it's reassuring to say the least. The good news is, is that because this vote is passed, all of our community policing programs will continue to function uh, very, very well, and we have quite a few more on the horizon. So as you know, we recently just uh, started our COPE program to help those in our community with mental health needs and crisis. We have our youth boxing program that's, that's very been around for some time and successful. But also all the officers, uh, the bike patrol officers, the mounted patrol, our sex offender registry, the 40 plus programs that we have to uh, build relationships with our community, the cops and kids fishing, Unidos, the list goes on and on. All of those programs are gonna continue full speed ahead and we have a number of other programs uh, in the works, so stay tuned. The city council is expected to certify results of the sales tax referendum when it meets on November 17th. The Grand Prairie Libraries have introduced a new service that offers customers of all ages access to a dozen brand new tablet computers, now available for free checkout at two of their locations. The only requirement is a Grand Prairie Library card. We are thrilled to offer these new tablet stations at our libraries. Now the tablets are ideal for surfing the web, looking at social media, or watching videos. There are two tablet stations, one at Maine and one at the Betty Warmack Library. They both have six tablets on them. The great thing is this allows people to use the internet but in safe social distancing environments all over the library, not just at our tables where we have our established PCs. So you can go into a study room, one of our sitting areas, and use them anywhere in the building. Syme says each one of the tablets is equipped with several popular software applications and programmed to adjust accordingly depending on whether it's being used by a child or an adult. A parent can check out one for their kids, but kids cannot check out an adult level tablet. They check out for two hours, and once you bring the tablet back to the station and put it in place, it wipes that tablet clear, all your logins and passwords to any of your accounts are gone, and it resets to its regular setting before the next person uses it. For more information about the new tablet service or any Grand Prairie Library program, please visit gptx.org library.